Hello everybody and a really big welcome to you all to today's Children's Liturgy. It's the first Sunday in Lent and we have our purple cloth on our gospel table today because purple is the liturgical colour for the season of Lent. So let's get ready then to begin our Children's Liturgy on this first Sunday of Lent by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're now into the season of Lent, everybody. And Lent began a few days ago on Ash Wednesday. And Lent is a really important and special time when we do our best to grow closer to God. And in today's Gospel, Jesus is going to do something that helps him to grow closer to God. It's not going to be easy for him, but he tries his hardest because he knows that that is going to help him to grow close to God. So he gives us a really good example in today's Gospel. Are we ready to listen to it? We're not going to sing our usual Gospel acclamation because we have put that word away for the time of Lent. Instead, we'll sing together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, we'll listen to your word. Well done, everybody, and now let's listen to the good news. It says, Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, went into the desert to pray and to be close to God. He stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights. And during that time, he had nothing to eat because he was fasting. He looked at the stones around him and he knew that he could change them into bread, but he chose not to. As he walked through the desert, he knew that he could make himself king over all the land, but he chose not to. When the 40 days had passed, Jesus went to the temple in Jerusalem and climbed the stairs to the rooftop. He knew that if he jumped from the top, God would save him from harm, but he chose not to. So Jesus was in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And it says there in the gospel that he didn't have anything to eat because he was fasting. And fasting means when we go without something. In Lent, we are called to do some fasting. Some people fast or go without by perhaps giving up chocolate or giving up crisps or sweets. But another way that we can fast, and this can really help our hearts to grow closer to God, we could perhaps give up being selfish or perhaps give up unkind words or those things that are stopping us from growing, from growing closer to God. So perhaps think about something that you can give up this Lent that's going to really help you to grow closer to God. Have a chat with either your grown-ups at home or your teachers at school about how you can give something up that's going to help you to grow closer to God. It's going to help your heart grow really strong in your love for God, isn't it? So Jesus was fasting in the desert and it says there as well that he saw the stones and he knew that he could turn those stones into bread if he wanted to. But it also tells us in the gospel that he chose not to. He wanted to show God how much he loved him and how strong his love for God was. So he chose not to have the bread because he wanted to show God how much he loved him and he wanted to build up the strength of his love for God. He was growing closer and closer to God. So he chose not to have any of those things to just keep growing closer to God. And also we know that he spent time in prayer in the desert. And that's another thing that we're asked to do in Lent, to spend a little bit of extra time in prayer. So perhaps you could think about how you can fit some extra prayer into your life this Lent. Maybe you could say a prayer each night before you go to sleep or each morning when you wake up. It could be perhaps a thank you prayer or a sorry prayer, or a please prayer, any type of prayer. But that's going to help you, again, to grow closer to God. So have a think about those things, perhaps what you can give up in Lent to help you grow closer to God, and also ways to spend more time in prayer as well. 
So they are some things for us to think about. And as it talked about stones in the gospel, I thought we could have a go at making your own stone. So try and find a stone outside, maybe in the garden or at the park or somewhere, and have a little go at decorating that stone to remind you of today's gospel, where Jesus decided not to turn the stones into bread because he wanted to grow closer and closer to God. And I've written on my stone, grow closer to God. And I've decorated it there with some stickers. So have a go at making your own stone, decorating it, and perhaps leave it somewhere special at home where it's going to remind you to grow closer to God in this really special time of Lent. Now let's sing a song together. It's got a few verses and it tells the story of today's gospel. And it's to the tune of Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary. And it goes like this. Jesus, Jesus, in the desert, off all alone you go. For forty days and forty nights, and closer to God you will grow, 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 and closer to God you will grow. Jesus, Jesus, in the desert, turn these stones into bread that I could do but choose not to. I'll follow my father instead, stead, stead. I'll follow my father instead. And I will pop the other two verses into the little bit below that you can just click and have a look in, in case you would like to join in with some more verses too, all about today's gospel. In the meantime, let's now join our hands and say a prayer together, asking Jesus to help us to grow closer to God in this time of Lent. You can say it after me, everybody. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, may our hearts grow ever closer to you in this time of Lent. May our hearts grow ever closer to you in this time of Lent and help us not to give up even when it's hard. And help us not to give up even when it's hard. And we say together, Amen. And now let's make the sign of the cross, everybody, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's go now and do those things that we are asked to do in today's gospel. We're going to try our very best to grow closer to God. See what you can do this week to do that. I'm sure you are going to be wonderful at growing closer to God. See you next time, everybody, for some more children's liturgy. And in the meantime, stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.